back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. No one really shared this with us. We bought this with their own money, but. Well, technically, patrons share with us every month and they, they allow us to buy these bottles. That's so. true. We, well, yeah, we'll talk about Patreon in a little yeah. bit. <laughs> All right, so 12 year bullet rye. Interesting because we've seen this before, right? Back in 2019. Well, that's what the internet says, but I sure don't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember it either. But the internet says, yeah, there was a limited release of 12 year in 2019 for what, like 50 bucks? 50 bucks. But when it was gone, it was gone. Yeah, so this is MGP and they don't hide that. Uh, but they say it's instead of just like um, straight up sourcing, straight up sourcing, it's contract distilling. They say they have input on the mash bill, although it's a 95.5. I don't know how that would differ from their 95.5. Interesting. But they also say they watch through the maturation. Keep some a good of pulse it, on it. Yeah, some of it ages up there in Indiana. Some of it ages uh, in Kentucky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but but that's what it is. That's the story. Now back then, 2019, when it went away, it went away mm -hmm. and it became discontinued. Now 2024, it's back. It's $50 back then. It's $55 now. Which the most interesting part about that only a $5 increase in right. five years mm -hmm. is that 12 is the youngest that's in this one. The press release said up to 17 year, right. which obviously what well, could have been leftovers from the 2019 if we do our math mm -hmm. right. But we don't know what portion of it's 17 year, but that's interesting that there's Probably some 17 year and then anything in between in there and it only went up five bucks. Right. Especially when we consider how much things have increased in the past five years in general. Yeah. Just under 50,000 bottles of this were released, 48 if we want to be technical. We found this uh, on a hunt out of town. Mm -hmm. It was Richmond, Kentucky, and we only saw it in one place. And I was like, what is that? Uh, again, hadn't heard of it. Mm -hmm. um, but since then, I have found it at a Kroger Wine and Spirits. So I do st would say it's limited, but it is out there. It's out there. It's out there. I've seen it twice. So, all right, enough info. Let's get to sniffing. I would say, like, you know, your typical rye baking spices, but this also has a savory note to it. Mm -hmm. A little barbecue note. I was going to say pulled pork. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it does have the typical 95.5 effervescence eucalyptus, yeah. but not some, some are just more in your face. And I feel like that's a product of the age. Those yeah. things, more interaction with the barrel, kind of quelling, quelling that down. We often say we love a good uh, barrel finish 95.5 mm -hmm. mm. that also sort of does the same thing. Age seems to be, uh, in this case anyway, doing that as well. Yeah, this smells like a pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Will it taste like it? I'm really hungry, so. Let's find out to your health. We are filming this before lunch, so that's probably why. Oh, more eucalyptus on the palate than I was expecting from the, from the nose, at least. <gasps> but I still... Okay, mm. well, admittedly, I've had, like, allergies going on. One day, one of us won't be... <laughs> we'll both be well, 100% well. I've had some allergies going on, so I don't know how reliable my palate is <laughs> at the moment, and I will admit that. However, this is tasty. It is tasty. What's the proof? Yeah, I was just going to say, the one thing we forgot and all that we said was the proof. Uh, so it's 46%, so that's 92 proof. Which for a rye, especially one with this much age, matters a lot less to me. Like the finish on this one, it does go on and you do get the heat from that baking spice. You get mm. that kind of tingliness from the eucalyptus hanging around and creating, adding to that finish. Aha, uh -huh. I really <laughs> like this. Normally I wouldn't put something this old in a cocktail, but like at 55 bucks a bottle, yeah, I would like to experiment with it, see how it, see how it does. 92 proof also, we mm. like for it to be more around 100, but we do 90, 90's, 90's we do fine. 90 yeah, yeah, do. In, in cocktails. Um, it, it took it a little while and it's not a super big hug, but it has crept down into the chest feels here. Very warm. Uh, we will- Let's give it a second. Let it sit here for a while so we can you know, see how it opens up in the glass. It is a fresh crack. While we wait, we want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where we can get this rye or die bigger here on the back. You all have seen it. The hat that I'm wearing. Uh, Sarah, the drink more bourbon shirt that you're Today's wearing. Today's say drink more rye. <laughs> drink more rye, that's right. We need to make that. Uh, of course, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from, all of our glassware, our cocktail syrups, candles, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And as I said earlier, patrons contribute to the reason why we're able to get new bottles and review them to tell you whether or not we think you would like them. Uh, they also get access to our exclusive barrel picks, uh, discounts on that merch Chad was talking about, and more. All right, we're gonna let it sit here a little bit longer, so we'll be right back. 10 minutes later. And we're back. We've let it sit here. It's actually just our second sip, I believe, right? Oh, it's definitely my third sip. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> second sip for me. Mm. I really like the mouthfeel on it. Like, it's 
rich and kind of velvety, but there is that tingle from the spice in the eucalyptus, that minty, um, without being overly minty in eucalyptus. Yeah. yeah. I think and, it's very balanced. And you definitely pick up the oak on this. I mean, the 12 years is represented there, I feel like, in the oak on the finish, but you're still getting the pop of a 95.5, mm. but not like a young 95.5. I feel like it's really kind of all coming together here. The right I, amount of oak, yeah. the, the right amount of pop without being, you know, super in your face about it of a 95.5. I don't usually gravitate towards like bullet products in general. It's just not been like for me. We've done a pick, um, mm -hmm. but for the most part, it's just like not what I reach for, but this, I really like this. Maybe we should um, go back and see if that store still has. Consider it, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of like what other older ryes that are more expensive that we could compare this to. Saz 18. I was thinking Saz 18, you know. But, but come on. Come on. But mm. if, you know, we've done this before, like if you can't find that, try this instead. It's right. actually available and affordable. Right. So this, uh, I don't know, I'd have to try them side by side. I feel like most of them are LEs. I think it's true. Cornerstone Rye, um, Wild Turkey. And then like also mash bill yeah. comparison wise, I don't know off the top of my head. But. Right. You pretty much have to rewind seven, eight years when when stuff coming out of MGP for picks or other brands were that age. Mm -hmm. uh, but nowadays it's just, besides this, it's sort of like an outlier. Yeah. Well, Which makes it all the more the value for 55 bucks. I think so. Yeah. I um, think you should keep an eye out for it. Yeah. It, you know, it, we don't have to do recommend or not because it's not uncorking, but still. I think we've said enough <laughs> yeah. about it. Yeah. I will continue to enjoy this. I might have another pour. Hmm. All right. Well, hey, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more rye.